Hey everyone, Foxy here, and thanks for joining me on this lovely day. And so, so the weather's always perfect, and today we are playing some more Subnautica. And now we're gonna try to make more things we don't have because we are missing so many things. Like the repair tool, which is taking quite a bit of things. Uh, repair tool, what else do you need? Uh, we need to go find that crayfish stuff and, well, magnesium. Yay. <laughs> but magnesium comes from salt and, uh, and I guess my salt is missing now. Well, let's venture into the dark and find us some things. Well, I think the nighttime's kind of nice. Very, very noisy, and not everything wants to kill me, just most of the things want to kill me. I can deal with most of the things wanting to kill me, but not all of the things. Salt! I found salt in the dark. Am I a pro yet? I'm nowhere near a pro. This game kicks my butt. Wait, what's that say? Cut. Creep vine with knife. Why, thank you, game, for a little bit of a tutorial. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen. No, I'm cutting creep vine. All right, fine. I'll come up for air. It's not essential or anything. Oh, noises. I just want some salt. Can I has salt? Stop laughing at me. I hate that noise. It's such a creepy noise. Whose idea of this noise was? Who made up this noise? I swear, someone just had like this really weird laugh. And they're like, hey, laugh into the mic. So it can be forever creepy for everyone. You creepy. Oh, so much glowy glows. This goes pretty deep. Caution. Well, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? I know I have 30 seconds, but I want that. I needed this hoverfish. We're going for air hoverfish. We've made it to the surface, little hoverfish. He's got weird little, like, tentacle arms. I'm gonna put you back in the water. Well, I'm glad we could discover something called a hoverfish. Now if I could just find some salt. Oh, salt. Where are you hiding? Oh. 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 No. 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 Leave me alone. What do you got? Another egg. I don't want an egg. Oh, 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 why you gotta be so angry? Oh, he, he just imploded. He blew up everything. Inventory full. Well, that's inconvenient, considering I need that. Uh, I'll move that. Uh, uh, I need that. To the surface. Hurry. Hurry. Air. Oh no, it's chasing me. I need air, sir. Ow! Well, I say back to the ship. I'll be back for you. I think we can finally make that repair thing. Fiber mesh? Oh, I needed that. What did I need that for? I'm gonna make it. I need it. So the more things that we discover, we can now make even more things. Oh boy. And the life cycle of making things just gets larger. Magnesium. We still need salt. Oh my goodness. Alright, I probably could just throw those out and store important things in here like uh, titanium. Um, glass. This creature egg. It's crayfish powder so I don't lose it. That was hard to get. I'm gonna eat all those fish. Now we eat the thing. Firm, low-fat, reptilian flesh. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Good thing we're not picky. Ugh, ugh. Reptilian flesh sounds gross. And drink some of that water. Well, at least we're full. We have more room in our pocket. Nice. Why don't we turn these into things so we don't have to carry them around? 
And then store all our titanium in here. I really need a base. I should focus on eventually getting one of those. That seems quite important in my life. I would like to keep that. Oh, I have salt in here. Are you kidding me? I had salt this entire time. Let's build that thing. Repair tool. The most important tool of all. What's it do? What'd it do? Hmm. Weld. Why not? Oh, I'm fixing it. Oh! Let there be light in my pod. It suddenly feels a little warmer in here. Status okay. Heal integrity okay. Secondary system online. Flotation device deployed. Environment. Uncharted ocean planet. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere. Waterborne bacteria levels high. Attempting to scan emergency frequencies. Oh, so now it's trying. Self-charging power cell. Oh, it actually uses that up. I'm not sure if that's good or not. <gasps> More med kit. What about this thing over here? Weld. What does this do? What am I fixing? A new message has arrived. Playing message. Message. This is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. <laughs> Estimated arrival time. Nine, 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 nine hours. Alright, we just gotta wait. Nine, 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 nine hours. All right, I know your your little your little secrets. You're just playing with us. I won't listen to you anymore. You have you're just full of lies. You stay there. All right, I think I fixed everything in here, which is nice. Rebreather, CO two to recycle used air at greater depths. Hmm, that sounds amazing. Dive reel, anchor to a physical point and unwinds as you explore. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Lots of interesting stuff, but I still want to make a place. I want to have a home. Oh, we can actually look at, like, the creatures we've seen. Which, alien life forms, also known as fauna. We have a herbivore. Oh, but you just happen to be really, really deadly as you try to protect yourself. Don't you? A slow-moving life form capable of filling the water with a poisonous and corrosive compound capable of dissolving even synthetic fibers. Filtration system. Multiple gill layers appear to render this creature impervious to the noxious clouds it produces. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> that would be very, very sad. The thing that it makes would kill it, but that's okay. It's fine now. Algae gland. A bulbous sac-like appendage on the rear end, a luminescent yellow algae glows inside the sac and produces the poisonous compound. The abdominal muscles contract when the creature is stimulated, causing the algae gland to emit the noxious compound into the surrounding water. Large pelvic fins, capable of powerful movements through the water when moving in small herds. The gasopods. Is it gasopods or gasopods? I kind of like gasopods better, but it might just be gasopods. Gasopods appear to be social in nature and may even use their emissions in their relationship rituals. Assess assessment, use cautious. So we got to be very, very careful of these creatures because they lay off some very, very nasty, nasty glands. They have very, very nasty, poisonous compound things that try to kill you. So don't trust those. So I would like to discover more creatures. I wonder how you do that. Is that from scanning them? I should definitely scan a lot more creatures so we can learn more about them. It's kind of, that should be like one of my goals. Learning more about the creatures in, in the area. Oh, I got another med kit. Oh, I'm thirsty again. I've been here too long. Been too busy reading. Well, we gotta go kill some bladderfish. Just has to be done. You know, we haven't scanned one of these guys yet. Stalker! You're a jerk, I just want to scan ya! Ow! Stand still! Jeez! I just want to learn more- Oh no no no! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Back to the ship! 
Back to the ship. In Z formation. Please don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Ah, I about died out there. Look at that. Look at my health. Ah, stalkers. I just want to learn more about you, but you won't let me learn. Peeper. Well, we can learn more about acid mushrooms. Those have been added. Oh, maybe we can get the rabbit ray finally. Rabbit ray, why? Oh, you got another friend here. Bladderfish. Ah, we got the bladderfish too. We can learn a lot more about these creatures. Yay, we also got the rabbit ray. I'm gonna have to read those later. I don't feel like reading them now. Little peeper. You're about done scanned. Yay, we got the peeper. Now I'm gonna eat ya. Ah, oh, we still need you. Oh, just about done. Then I can leave you alone forever. Yes, we got the stalker. A very mean creature that Emergency. just mean. Buddy, do we have to play the stab game? I'm gonna win. I have the stabbing mechanic. You have the biting mechanic, but my stab is worse. Your bite can go away. Oh, he brought friends. He brought friends. All of the friends want to eat me. The sun is setting, I know. The stalkers are out. Well, at least I brought home some food. Let's eat the peeper. We're gonna have to remember to grab salt. So we can get good foods. Oh, I might die from dehydration before anything else. Cheapers, creepers. Where'd you get them peepers? Where'd you get them eyes? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give get the peeper, peeper, peeper. I just need water. I just need a little bladderfish. There's bladderfish. I don't have time for you. I'm on a mission for bladderfishes. My hunting ground. Dude. Dude. There can only be one stalker and that's me. So shoo. I'm just thirsty. I don't think I'm gonna die before I get this water. Oh. I barely got that. I was about to die. We're gonna drink some more water. Caution. More agua. Lots of agua. And we're gonna eat this paper. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get them peepers? Alright, we're pretty good for a while. Not gonna die. In the meantime, what was I looking for? Well, we might as well check our logs at the moment. So, now we have a bladder fish. The thing that gives us lots of water. This unusual herbivore appears mostly defenseless. One, semi permeable membrane. This life form is able to filter seawater into its body cavity through a unique membrane, removing and composing organic particulates caught on the way. All right. Number two, open-ended vascular tubing can be angled and contracted to pump out water and achieve low velocity, largely oblivious to threats. Its only identified defense mechanism is its 95% cartilage. Ew, that means it's super, super chewy. Assessment, membrane may have applications as a natural water filter, which is why we're able to get water from it. Now our peeper friend. Oh, it's got a little, a little beak for a mouth. No wonder they call it a peeper. It's a little water bird with one very large eye. A fast prey fish encountered in large schools in shallow waters. One developed side mounted eyes well adapted to recognize and flee its many predators, also rich in protein. Mmm, you sound delicious. Number two, powerful fins, enabled rapid acceleration and the ability to leap meters out of the water. Number three, it has a beak, likely used to break down corals and tough vegetation. Reliance on visible identifying predators may leave it vulnerable in low light environments. Assessment, edible, high calorie count. So it's really, really good to eat and it doesn't see well when it's dark despite having very large eyes. Next up we have our rabbit ray, which I really, really like. I have a thing for stingrays. I really, really like stingrays. They're so, uh, 
I remember going to some aquatic place and you were able to pet stingrays and it's like they would come up, it's like they were kitties and they would swim to the surface and you just pet them and they'd keep rubbing up against your hand. I remember that so much. I really, really like stingrays, even though I know they are very, very dangerous. And otherwise, I would not come across one just in open waters. One that has like its stinger clip, good. One that is obviously not raised in captivity, don't go near. That will just straight up kill ya. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I really like rays. Stingrays are like cats in the water to me. Oh, the cutes. A herbivorous aquatic life form with highly poisonous flesh. Number one, poisonous flesh. That's why we can't grab it because if we tried to eat it, we would die. <laughs> Large and without other defense mechanisms, the rabbit ray appears to have evolved poisonous flesh to ward off predators. Two, indulgating wings, main method of steady transportation. Diet, grasses and kelp, assessment inedible, but harmless. So those ones are my favorites so far. Right now for flora, we have the acid mushroom, which I kind of don't feel like I want to read all the ones for the plants, but I do want to read the ones for all the animals. And our only carnivorous one is our stalker friend. A streamlined predator with developed intelligence and strength Encountered in the kelp forest. Oh, okay, so I know what the kelp forest is now. That's nice to know. And way to prey leaving the safety of the shallows. Number one, head. An elongated snout can deliver huge biting pressure to larger attackers, but also used to get a small herbivore seeking refuge among the rocks. Retinal layering on the eyeball suggests adaptation for nighttime hunting. Great, so it comes out in the nighttime. Well, I should have expected so. Number two, Dorsal ridges. These ridges can be moved independently to deliver superior maneuverability. Number three, pelvic fins. Long and powerful, the stalker has evolved to hunt even the fastest of prey. Neutral pathways indicate innate ability for reward-based learning. Evolutionary explanation unclear at this time. Attracted to metals, will fight fiercely over its hoard. No explanation available for this behavior. Further research required prey, peeper, and other small herbivores, so we should definitely avoid it. It's daytime and I will find a bladderfish. Bladderfish, bladderfish, oh bladder, 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 bladderfish. Found a peeper. You don't give me water. I don't know any other way to get water besides peepers at the moment. Bladderfish. What is that? What is that? No! Come back! I want to know what you are! A boomerang? A boomerang a fish? I don't have that. Oh wait, no, I want the bladder fish. Bladder fish, bladder fish. I have water. I don't want to die of thirst. I just don't want to. Let's eat the boomerang fish. I wonder what you taste like. Are you, uh, hopefully you're not chewy. Like them bladder fish. Eat, drink, drink. Ah, uh, I'm gonna need more, more things. So, to get close to that radiation suit, we need more fiber mesh, which we can get from these things, from the creep vines. Oh, bladderfish, bladderfish, water, water, my bladderfish. And we're gonna need some lead. Ugh, all the things I don't have, all the things I want. Okay, that's probably way too much. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He left me alone. Well, that made my day. What is that? Seagullade fragments. Hey! I was looking at that! You jerk! Oh, he's mean to me. I know, I'm getting air. And then I gotta beat up a stalker, because he's guarding something amazing from me. I want to know what that seagullite thing is, but no! You wanted to fight! Get out of here. No, you're a jerk. You're a big meanie. Get out of here, I will fight you! Wow! Jerk. Now show me what that seagullite thing is. Got it! I found a seagullite. I don't know what the seagullite thing does. Wait, there's more broken things over here. Is there more things for me to scan? Other than that box. 
I didn't know I could just look in boxes to find things. I want to find cool things. Let me find the cool things. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen. I'm not gonna drown. I told you I wouldn't drown. Alright, not that. I need to find... Some lead. That was titanium. Not what I asked for, and that's bladderfish. Oh, he's coming back! Ah! He came to me. He's mine. Mine forever. I won't ever be alone. I have bladderfish who love me. Or, to be exact, I love the bladderfish. Oh! What's wrong with that rock? Do you mind? I was exploring those really weird looking rocks. Bye! Radiation detected. Leave me alone. Oh, it's because the ship. I just want to find some limestone. Oh, oh, right there, right there, right there. Copper. I never get the things that I want. Unless it's bladderfish. What? What? Caution. Radiation Caution. detected. Ah, uh, I just wanted to see what the floaty things were. What were the floaty things? Am I going towards it? Where am I? I should just go straight up and find out. Oh, I'm gonna die. I died! I didn't get to see where I was, but I was obviously a little too close to the ship and the radiation killed me. No, I lost things. Well, there's me right for not going home. Did I lose the sea glide? What was the sea glide? Oh no, I probably lost it, didn't I? Oh, sea glide at the top. One out of two. Does that mean I gotta find another piece of it to actually get it? Interesting. Well, in the meantime, I'm gonna capture this bladder fish and take him home. Ooh, salt. Ooh, salt. I don't normally- oh! He came out of that! And he took my metal! No, it's mine! It's mine! It's mine! Caution. Titanium! I don't want it! Copper! I don't want it! Paper! I wanna eat ya! I wanna eat ya! I wanna eat ya! You're full of fiber! Um num num! Oh, let's crash fish! No! 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 Oh, he still got me! He's a jerk! And yeah, now it's dark, but hey, I can see all the bladder fish. Oh, there's home. Way over there. I might just have to wait till day, because there's it's just really hard to see anything. Ooh, something to scan in there. I can see it. Sea glide! I got it back. Oh, let's go look at that. Hopefully I don't die before I get home somehow. That would be pretty awful. Sea glide. Lubricant and copper wire. Before I do that, I need... I need fiber mesh and lead. So I'll make my fiber mesh. And... And make some water. Because bladder fish. And now let's cook one of these. What happens when I add salt? Do they taste just a wee bit better? I don't know, but I hope so. Let's try the cured bladderfish. Mmm, now the cured peeper. Oh, that took away water. Interesting. That's okay, I have more water. Now I just gotta eat that last peeper. There we go. Eat your peeper. Eat the peeper. Eat the peeper. Oh, yay, we're full. And it's still dark. But I have things I need to find. Alright, so we need battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. I need creep vine. I need three of them. Copper wire. I need more copper ore. Well darn. Yay, I got some lead. I needed that. For my radiation suit. Now if I could just find some copper. And creep vines. Oh, oh. That was titanium. Not what I needed. 
copper! Yes! Sea glide fragment. Oh, if I scan that, I get titanium. Now to get those creep vine seeds. Alright, lubricant. And copper wire. Now we have a thing that should be called a sea glide. What does the sea glide do? The sea glide will increase your effective ex exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and always stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Hmm. All right, let's give this thing a try. Oh, that's simple. And way faster. Oh boy, I want the thing. Oh, uh, so I get to places. And then I gotta put it down. But then, I can pick it back up and be way out of here. Then I just pick it up and I'm already zooming. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Ugh, I could zoom back to the surface when I can't breathe. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice, I like it. I don't want that in here. Put that down. And I can get that radiation suit. Oh, I know what I'm doing in the next episode. I'm wearing this baby. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end so there. We got a sea glide. We got that radiation suit finally. And in the next episode, I'm going to that ship right there. I'm going to the ship to see what is there. Very curious. I'm hoping we'll find some new things that we don't have yet. I'm not sure, but who knows. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me on this lovely day. If you're new to my channel, please non subscribe, boop the like, and join Team Foxy. And if you're already a subscriber, you know what to do. You boop the like button, you boop it. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Bye bye.